What up, saucers? <laughs> Welcome back <laughs> to your favorite show. Yeah, okay. this is this is gonna be a fun one because everyone likes to talk about love languages, but we're gonna get into the nitty gritty and then share ours because we just yes. took like a test that we're gonna recommend you guys at the end of our podcast to take. Yes. And um, you're gonna learn some stuff and maybe you take what you want and leave what you don't, but it's very interesting. It is. Uh, yeah, to know that part of yourself and what you'd want in a relationship. Yeah, exactly. So most of us have heard of this by now, love languages. I, fortunately and unfortunately, because I think it should be widely known, but it's also, it can get obnoxious when something gets swept up yes. by like the Oprah gang and it just becomes like a thing. <laughs> um, but it can be like it overused. Did, yeah. It, yeah, yeah, it did get swept up and become a thing but also it's a thing it's real and it's valid <laughs> and like how do we show how i do hate we when show... it's a thing but it's a thing what are you gonna do it, it's a thing and it became a thing but it is a thing <laughs> um, but it is so important it's like how we show our love how we receive love and how we sh uh give it because it's so common to for people to like think that they are that's why a lot of arguments happen in relationships. It's like, well, you weren't even there for me. And and one person is like, what do you mean? I, I called you every day. And that person is really like, it didn't resonate with them as you being there for them because what they need is acts of service. They need you to be mm -hmm. like showing up, bringing meals or like running errands for them or somebody, or you are doing all those things for someone. And they're like, I just needed a hug. Like I just needed you to mm -hmm. sit next to me and hold me and, uh, like, I didn't need you to be doing all those logistical things to help me, but it's like, we need to know each other and ourselves really well. So, mm -hmm. um, the concept of love languages is pretty straightforward. Um, in the book, the, the five love languages, the secret to love that lasts, um, Dr. Gary Chapman explains through, through his research that the main ways we express our love for one another as humans are words of affirmation, gifts, acts of service, quality time and physical touch. And of course there are more than these love languages, but um, just the five, these are just the five overarching themes that he came, that came out of his particular research. And I think I, I'll speak for myself, but I think pretty much anyone, and this was acknowledged also in his research, but you know, nobody falls into just one. It, it's yeah. a matter of like, you, you need, a, you know, all of them are a way to show somebody and receive and, and give love, but there are usually a few that rank at the top for everybody. Yeah, and knowing your love languages is the, one of the single most important things that you could do in your relationship. I mean, one of them, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, communicating for sure is one of them, but understanding yourself and understanding what you want, you know, uh, is important because without this knowledge, you can miss that your partner is being loving and caring in their own way. And unfortunately, yeah. this can result in a vicious cycle of resentment that can ultimately lead to divorce or a breakup because there's no communication and no understanding of what constitutes love for your partner or for yourself. Yeah. Um, so it's it's important to familiarize yourself with your own love language as well as your partners or loved ones. Mm -hmm. And Robert R. Milhausen, who has a PhD department in Department of Family Relations at the University of Guelph, says to start by thinking about how you like to give and receive love. Ask yourself, when I want to show affection, how do I do it? Do you cook a nice meal or maybe you send an appreciative text or buy concert tickets? And often the way you express love can provide clues about what kind of love you most appreciate. Next, think about what makes you feel most loved and cared for. Do you feel closest to your partner when they do something helpful? Or do you crave physical touch and mm -hmm. you know, hugging and kissing and... Uh, and so just dig deep by thinking back to all your past relationships, both romantic or otherwise, because this doesn't just have to be romantic. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, this is like anyone that you love. This is like siblings, mm -hmm, parents, mm -hmm. friends, like anybody. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and obviously, while it's important to know your love language, it's equally important to know your partners or your whoever you're dealing with, your friend, your mom, your sister, whatever. Um because the the way most of us express love is our own love language. Like we think about, and it's, it's comes from good intention, but it's like, you know, we put ourselves in their shoes and what would I want? And okay, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. But that's mm -hmm. really not necessarily going to yes. work. Like, okay, I would want, I would want a hug right now, but maybe mm -hmm. that person is like, I do not want to be touched. Like just go like run my errands for me, please. Because you just, you cannot always equate the two and there will be a, a, language disconnect really. And so, um, mm -hmm. that can lead obviously to relationship problems. Um, so 
knowing your own is great, but then he, we have some tips for making your love known to someone who has a different primary love language than you. So if you know about your significant other or someone in your life, like they really love this and it's not my main love language, but you want to be able to speak that to them and show that, like take some of these pieces of advice. So if their love language is words of affirmation, um, pay attention to the thoughts you have about the person and work on vocalizing them. Cause you might be thinking all these good things about them all day, but they actually need to hear it. They want to hear mm -hmm. that to feel closer to you. Um, so essentially leave a paper trail of your love through handwritten notes, spontaneous texts and meaningful specific compliments that will make them feel like that was speaking their language. Um, if your person needs physical touch, look for opportunities to physically connect with your loved one, whether that's a hug as you're crossing paths in the morning or a squeeze on the knee underneath the table during dinner out with friends, just little things. None of these are like big sweeping gestures either. It's like constant infusion of just like their language and love. Like I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Um, yeah. if they need quality time, work on being fully present with your partner. Um, the biggest barrier to quality time is the use of cell phones. People whose love language is quality time will feel hurt if the partner is always checking their phone or half listening while doing other things. Other tips include um, starting a shared passion or hobby together or making long walks a staple in the routine. I have definitely, quality time is really important to me. And I have definitely been with people where I'm like, I can just tell you're, ha you're either half talking to me and you're on your phone or every two seconds, you're, every time your phone dings, you need to respond to it as opposed to like, and it's one, you know, here and there, of course, or if it's like, oh, I'm waiting for this or I'm supposed mm -hmm. to be on the clock right now or whatever. But in mm -hmm. general, it's like really the third Twitter notification, you need to keep checking this. Like it's not even for you. It's just like, so that's annoying. Um, acts of mm -hmm. service, if that's their thing. Um, step one, get into the mindset of wanting to show your partner love non-verbally. Like if acts of service is their thing, you could shower them with your verbal love all day and it's not going to hit home as hard as um, like assisting them with something that's hard. So that will help reframe tasks that seem like chores, like carpooling or doing the dishes into expressions of love. Um, and then gift giving. So what to get the expert gift giver. Um, so recommend starting small. These gifts don't have to be extravagant. They're little representations of feelings and show how much you know your partner and how you pay attention to what they like. Another alternative, um, you can't go wrong with the usual flowers and chocolate. But I do think that like this one gets a bad rep for people when it's like, oh, my language, my love language is gifts. And it just comes across as like, just give me things, give me things. Yeah. yeah. But it really like to its core in the sense of like when it's a little thing, honestly, if somebody comes home be expensive. from like 7-Eleven and brings me a little bag of smart food cheddar, white cheddar popcorn, because mm -hmm. they know I love that. It's not like you spent what, a dollar seventy five on this. But it to me, it's like, oh, you thought yeah. of me. You were like out in your day and exactly. you were like, oh, Molly would like this and got her a little thing like that's cute. And that's mm -hmm. speaking to that. Yep. So there is this quiz that you can take online, fivelovelanguages.com slash quizzes. And we'll put that in our show notes so you can take mm -hmm. it yourself. Yeah, and in if our you Instagram want, stories. pause us. Pause us. Yeah, in our Instagram stories, you can find it there. But it's five, love, five the number five, lovelanguages.com slash quizzes. Mm -hmm. So if you want to pause, take it really quick and then come back. And then we're going to tell you guys about our results because we already kind of knew, but we, we just wanted mm -hmm. a refresher. So we just retook the test. It's been a yeah. while since I had taken it. Um, yeah. and also, love languages are best used as a starting point, but aren't meant to entirely guide your relationship, which is when it can, become, uh, it can become too transactional and shift the focus away from what it should be at the core of the relationship, which is presence yeah. and connection. Because you don't so want it to becoming, be like... Like yeah. I, like I put my phone down for 30 minutes to talk to you. Now you have to do the dishes. Like it's, exactly. it can't be like that. Yeah, no. So it's not just so transactional all the time. You have to think of love languages as a starting point for tending to your relationship with a sense of generosity and goodwill. It can't just be like, well, like, yeah, like exactly yeah. what you said. I like you do, like, you, you're I, owed something because you yes. did something. You're, you're throwing it in their faces. Like you're yeah, only like, doing, you're being a child. You're not actually being considerate. Holding it over someone's head. Like. Well, you said you needed, like, you said you needed words of affirmation. I've been telling you all day how proud I am of you. Like, can you, mm -hmm. ju that's just like toxic exactly. to go into that way. Um, okay. So let's go into ours. Yes. Um, do you want to do you first? Sure. So um, I want to see if I can guess. Oh, okay. 
Did you, I think you might've already said what your first was. Was it quality yeah. time? Mm-hmm. Okay, so quality time. <sighs> second is, uh, this is just me. Second mm-hmm. gift, your second is gift giving. No. Third, well, no, 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 oh, so, wait, oh, wait, okay, wait, okay, okay. okay. Second is gift giving. Oh, and no, that's not. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to change it because I'm <laughs> yeah, going to cheat now. Yeah. I'll say second. Oh, fuck. Maybe physical touch. Third gift giving. Four acts of service. Five words of affirmation. That's how, that's what I believe. This test didn't say that, which is what we were, the discussion that we were oh, talking about. Oh, so you about, agree with my, like, my assessment? Yeah, I agree okay. with your assessment. Because... And that's what we, before we jumped on camera, um, mm-hmm. this is what I was saying, because I actually think it's an interesting point to ask, like, okay, if I take this quiz, obviously it's designed to do this and it tells me this, but if I know myself really well and I tell you what means more to me, what, like, what I, like, what's more valid, because I took a test that maybe could help me be less mm-hmm. in my head or because I'm in my head, I know, because honestly... Hmm. I'm, I'm a, I've always known for me the the two at the top. Um, I think that they for me they go hand in hand a lot is quality time and physical touch because quality time is gonna uh, incom- is gonna include physical touch to me where it's like not yeah. always anything crazy but like you're you're together you're around each other you like yeah. have some affection involved sitting next to in the couch yeah you know like I mean? anything like yeah. that or like you're you're on an adventure together you're like doing some fun activity and you're like you're gonna be they go mm-hmm. together, um, but they're both like at the top for me, those two mm-hmm. for sure. And then other two that bleed in together to me are acts of service and gifts because I think a lot of time that feels the 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 um, effect it has on me in the same, is the same. If you mm-hmm. do something for me because you know I'm too stressed, I'm too busy, I'm freaking out and I don't have time and you go run that errand for me and I'm in the middle of a big work project it, it or I come home from a long day and I'm exhausted and you like, um, you know, got a bottle of wine for me or something. It's like this, the effect on me is the same. Cause I feel mm, taken care of. I feel yeah. like I feel seen because I'm like, wow, you know, I was having a rough day. Whether you got me a little gift to make that day easier or you were in, involved yourself in that day to take some of that pressure off is like the same effect. Cause I feel like seen and valued and like you wanted to do something to help something to help me in a situation that was hard. So mm-hmm. I, I do kind of put those together. I would say like, uh, um, for me, I would do, yeah, quality time and physical touch and then acts of service and gifts are there. They can mm-hmm. interchange based on the situation and then words of affirmation, um, last, but I do like when it comes to being in a relationship, like I definitely need that verb. Like I need to hear, I love you. That can't just yeah. be like an assumed thing that happens every like couple months. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that's um, last wait. for you. So I want to guess. Yeah, you yeah. So you Ooh, wait, were can right, you say the so number? Like, the number like what what so what did the test say and what was the number result next to that? Oh, them? so what I just described to you is like what I believe about myself. Yeah. But yeah. the test said quality time, 33%. Um Ooh. words of affirmation, 23%. Interesting. Yeah. So you said that that was your fifth, and it's actually your second. Well, it says it's my second, but I don't think so. Because when, because it's also how you're interpreting these questions. If it says like, it's more meaningful because the way that the quiz is structured, it's like, it's more meaningful to me if mm-hmm. my partner does blah or blah. And yeah. so a lot of them were phrased like, so like my, my partner, um, to, uh, how do I, it's like, to me, some of the things were like, oh, that is how I feel when somebody is doing an act of service, like telling Mm -hmm. me like they know I had a hard day, blah, blah, blah. But they're saying like, this is them telling you this. So this is words of affirmation. Whereas I'm like, Mm. oh, but that's them like acknowledging that I'm, and then doing something for me about like, Mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know how Mm -hmm. I feel about these orders necessarily, but it Mm -hmm. says three is physical touch for me. um, Four acts of service and five gifts. Interesting. Yeah. I'm going to guess yours. Okay. Okay, I'm going to guess your number one is either gifts mm-hmm. or, huh, ooh, this is hard. <laughs> it's either 
I could see it being like multiple things. I'm going to say quality time or gifts. And I almost said words of affirmation, but I don't think that's it. And then your second one is going to be, well, I have to choose one. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Your first one. Okay. I'll say first one. Oh, why are you like knocked these out pretty fast? Okay. I did give you my first one though. So that's not fair. <laughs> um, your true. first one is... I would have said and I, I don't think I would have said quality time unless you would have said me I think I would have said your number one would be gift giving to be honest really yeah I would because I'm kind of thinking your first one maybe gifts your second one quality time huh first one gifts second one words of affirmation third one gifts. quality time Mm-hmm. Fourth one. Ah, oh, but that's weird. I was gonna say fourth acts of service and then fifth physical touch. But I don't know where to I don't know where to put okay, tell me what it is. Number well, one, acts of you, service. Oh <laughs> do you agree with yours? Do you agree with what it told you? Oh yeah. 100%. Oh, okay. okay. I agree. Okay. Um, I already knew acts of service was my number one. I mean, think mm -hmm. about it. Like Ryan helping me with the podcast, yeah. Ryan helping with cooking. Like yeah, I, you're right. that is how you show me like, I am a lazy bitch. Okay. Like <laughs> I, please don't make me clean. Please don't make me cook. I'll do it. Don't, 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 don't get me wrong. I will bitch. still do those things. I won't just force all of it on Ryan, but he takes, he takes it and he does it well. Yeah. He, yeah. He, that, that's how he shows his love to me. Yeah. And I love it. Um, my second, you, you got a lot of other stuff was words of affirmation. Ah, okay. Okay. So you got that right. So an acts of service by 37%. So it was a pretty wide margin there. Yeah. A words of affirmation is 27%. That's my second. Mm -hmm. Like I, you know, just to remind me just, yeah, it's that, that I'm proud of you. Like you're doing, like, I just need that kind of reminder. Cause I get in my head and I have like, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll be like my own worst enemy when it comes to judgment and like stopping myself. So I need right. someone that I trust to be in there. Like, no, you can do this. You know, Yeah. my third is quality time. I think you've got that mm -hmm. right as well. Yes. My third is quality time, um, at 23%. So not too far after words of affirmation. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. Quality time. It's so funny because Ryan's always on his phone yeah. and <laughs> it's only third for me, but it's still, it's third. So I yeah. still care. But right. it's not the, a deal breaker. But I'm still just like, Ryan, holy <laughs> shit. Like, he's just on Facebook, like, marketplace. You know what I mean? Oh, like, it's, yeah, like, yeah. not serious. Right. Um, my fourth at 10% is receiving gifts. Ah, okay. So I was kind of so close. So it says receiving gifts. Yeah. So, like, yeah, you were pretty or close. I wasn't close on gifts. But, I mean, I put physical touch as five also. Exactly. But gifts, I had gifts and acts of service. I flipped. Yeah, it's so interesting. Like, I, I still love getting, don't get me wrong. It's like, mm -hmm. even though it's at fourth to 10%, I still love getting gifts, but it's not like my number one. And physical touch at 3%. It's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> Like That's we could so never funny. be married. <laughs> no. And this no, is the, this is the kicker, Molly. Ryan's, Ryan's physical touch. Like that's really? how he show. I mean, like I, that's what he would want. You know yeah, what I mean? Like he, he wants, needs. he needs physical touch, but he gives acts of service. Yeah. Because and he knows I, that's what you need. Yeah. Cause this is a difference. Like I think sometimes it's different. Like what you give is different than what you love. Sometimes there are a lot the, well, the cause same, it's saying, right? Like, well, what, what in the research it was saying, like, your love language, when they say what's yours, that means what do you need? But then yes. it's on us to, it's on us to, um, <laughs> like whole setup is falling apart. Um, <laughs> I know. I was, just, I was just smacking a fly on the screen just now. Like, I'm at like, the same oh, time. okay. <laughs> um, but then it's on us to, um, speak the language of our loved ones. So, so yes. it's not, cause I used to be confused. Like, so do we have two love languages? The one we need and when the one we speak, but no, yeah. the one we speak should be based ideally is based on what that person needs. Not needs. Exactly. this is how I show love. It's like, well, no, you should alter how you show love to who you're, you're giving right. that love to. But usually if people don't give thought to that other person's love language, they end up speaking the language that mm. like what they need because that's like a common how misconception. You're right. Yes. I think a lot of people's like, oh, it's my love language to do this. But like it'll yes. be in the context of like, it's what I like to do. Yeah, it's backwards. Um, I mean, it's fine in context. You can understand it. But I think that's maybe where it gets confusing because it's like, yes, um, what's the difference? But like. So for me, because Ryan's literally 3%, 3% 
five, it's number five for me is physical touch. Um, I don't know. It, like I, I get overstimulated very easily. Yeah. So I don't like the touching. So, and it's, it's, it's like so heartbreaking for Ryan because Ryan just lets how he needs yeah. his love. So what it is sometimes like he can't be the one to initiate physical touch. Like I have to be the one to initiate. Like yeah. I have to come up from behind him and hug him. Yeah. Like that's how we can get around that. Right. Um, yeah. Cause that's hard. like you speaking his language. Yeah. Cause it's not a thing of like, Oh, you can't be with this person cause your love languages aren't compatible. It's not even about no. that. It really, like they don't have to line up at all. As long nope. as you know the other persons and you're willing to speak that and be that and give them that. Cause if yeah. you want to love them, you want to love them. So this is how, so mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. Like if you need, like if I, if I want to just like hug you, but you actually would feel more of what I'm, trying to express if I say this to you instead like that's on us to like learn our partners you know exactly and I also mean, to communicate what we need like if someone mm -hmm. keeps giving you little gifts at the end of the day and you're like I really just need you to like sit down and talk with me at the end of the day like it's sweet that you got me another yeah, like but I just wanna bracelet hang out. yeah I just want to hang out so yeah and like again you could see that like my number five is my husband's number one yeah or at least number one number, number one or number two um, and that could be difficult. Like that, like, don't get me wrong. Like it can be difficult and we still try and like yeah. manage it because like he, he just wants a hug and I'm just like, I'm sorry. I just can't right now. You really right. have to communicate and understand and be patient. Like yeah. it's just work. It's just a yeah. little bit of work. It's, but it's still possible. It shouldn't deter you from the relationship. Yeah. Not it's at all. Completely opposite. Cause it doesn't have anything to do with how much you love that person. It's how, mm -hmm. how much you're able to show it in a way they understand. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, I, I hope like, you guys learned some things. Um, I did. <laughs> yeah, I love love languages. It's really, it's really insightful. But you can find us, guys. Come on on Instagram at the SOS Pod. Um, you can tell us, reach out to us, DM us your love languages, and if like you have opposite, kind of like me, like have an opposite, a partner has opposite ones because yeah. it's funny, and then see how you guys deal with it. Um, yeah, and then we're also on YouTube, SOS with Molly and Alyssa. Mm -hmm. We're on Spotify, Google. Apple Podcasts, so subscribe to us, rate and review us. It helps us reach more people. We're also on Patreon, so come yes. be a member. Um, yeah. It's not too much money, and you can get some exclusive merch and nice, can help us out uh, stuff. Yeah, help us out. Um, I'm Molly Cottrell. I'm Melissa Rosano. Here's to turning meltdowns into magic. <laughs>